Good evening, racing fan, wrestling fans. <laughs> this is the ECW review. I'm trying to. Th How somebody... do we know that this is too much? I, I thought you're. I... This is our ECW review for January 22nd, 2008. His family is a whole bunch of rednecks, and they sit around watching, uh, <laughs> watching wrestling. I mean, <laughs> racing. <laughs> okay, now forget, forget all of that. And I apologize for what I said about your family. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna kick your ass. The ECW reviews is ECW for the twenty uh, second after the, which January. I just said like ten seconds ago. Had you been listening? I was trying. I was thinking about the year. The first thing that we're gonna discuss, everybody, since I seem to be the intelligent one here, is the uh, the mini rumble. Yes. The participants were uh, Shelton Benjamin, Miz and Morrison, Miz and, Morrison Kane, Kane and Tommy Dreamer. Yes. Oh, Tommy Dreamer. We haven't seen him in a while. It's nice to see Tommy back, even though he lost. Even though he lost first, <laughs> poor guy. It's like they, they bring him back. Welcome back, Tommy. Yeah, you're going down. You're going to embarrass yourself. Yeah, Shelton uh, Benjamin won. Yes, yes. Don't really know what the hell this means. It just it was just a fun thing. I, I, what I... What stood out to me was the... Uh, Something probably broke It was there. the cat acting like a little... You know what. I, I was kind of surprised with the response that people had for uh, for Kane. They just whooped uh, every time uh, Kane uh, stood up. And Kane. I know, I know. I was kind of surprised. They, they liked him more. There were some boos when Benjamin uh, finally won. So um, yeah. So I, I just found that interesting. Uh, the next thing, the debut of Kofi Kingston yeah, no. against a jobber whose name I don't know, but I really thought he was very good. I thought this was a wonderful... Big fella. This was a wonderful match. Uh, because it gave Kingston the chance to uh, to show off his stuff, but at the same time it was kind of a it was kind of a you know a fight. It was a, it was a good one. He had a lot of good moves, and uh, I think uh, we have a lot to look forward to from uh, from Kofi Kingston. Very interesting fellow this year, uh, Kofi. Kingston. Uh, the, the the divas took off their clothing again. Got this see, time in HD. Got to see kid it, kid it, fat ass. Oh, oh nice. nice. We're. Uh, uh, Jonathan Coachman, obviously the clear winner in that. Uh, oh wait, no. See, I thought they, I thought they were going to do a t table turn, and uh, he was going to uh, be declared the winner. But no such luck. People would have vomited. He's kind of yeah. He's 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 let himself go. I'm afraid. Yeah. A Colin Delaney match. Uh, Colin. What is, what's, Yay. What, is, what is Tuesday night without, without Colin Delaney? I think he's the new Tuesday night delight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. Your boy, John Morrison. I know. Not gonna I know. That. I'm. Uh, you know. I'm my. My feelings for Morrison have. Uh, you know. I'm. 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 I'm getting bored, with this Miz and Morrison stuff. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. You know. Uh, it'll. It'll be a while before I. Anyway, back to Colin. Before get he got sidetracked. No. Before I. I these people. They need. They under, need to understand this. Uh, before I redeclare my love for Morrison, I'm. We need to. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's <laughs> just. Just back. Okay, this is the this is the uh, Colin Delaney, great Kali fight. Now, John, poor, now, yeah, poor Colin. What about poor Colin? He lost the great Kali. He, he wasn't even. He just wasn't there. They asked the Taz. <laughs> he was said, there for six weeks. Taz said, "Does does you does your mother know that you're here?" That's my Taz impression, by the way. <laughs> Very good. Does your mom know you're here? And Colin goes. Yeah, no. And then Kali came out, and he and he didn't even fight back. He was just being tossed around like a rag doll. Poor guy. So, you know, let's hope. Maybe he'll live to fight another day. He will. He'll be back. You think? He's got to fight Umaga. Did you see the number of bandages that he had on? Or did he, not fight? he hadn't fought Umaga yet, has he? I don't believe so. Benjamin, uh, Henry, Kali. This is his fourth week. Kane. And Kane. Yeah, those are the four. I think I think I this was, was five. I think, I think he said this was number four. But I'll 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 review the tape. Then the final match, ooh, the title match, the uh, Chavo Guerrero, CM Punk, Edge was back there, Vicky was back there. They were building up to this the whole time, and uh, it was a good match. Kane, uh, not Kane, uh, Edge called it again, uh, which was not as necessary this time because I th I think. And I've been very critical of the two of them fighting each other, Punk and, and Guerrero. But this, I thought this was a good match. It was no DQ, uh, but nothing really special happened in that. Except except for Edge going in and, and pounding Punk. And except which, for Chava winning the title. Right, but 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 they didn't. No, nothing over the top happened in the no disqualification 
uh, realm, except for Edge coming in and this is what I, him. This is what I think needs to happen here, WWE. Okay, you listening? Okay. I'm going to zoom in on that. Oh, Lord. This is what needs to happen, <laughs> okay? CM Punk needs to just forget about this Chavo Guerrero crap and fight Edge for the World Heavyweight Championship. That's what needs to happen. I don't, I don't think he needs Shut to. Shut the hell up, get the hell out of the video. Uh, That's what needs to happen, WWE. I don't, I don't think it's Get the hell out! To... Make it happen. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think that guy. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and somebody posted on, on one of our comments in one of the videos that, uh, if you, if you have Guerrero and, um, Edge holding their titles, then if you get the Edge heads, to hold the tag team titles, then Edge would have like a monopoly over the whole over a, a monopoly. A SmackDown mm, monopoly. I wonder where we've seen that before. Hmm. Evolution, maybe. Well, either way, I think it'd be interesting. But but we we ended with a pit with Vicky in her little wheelchair. Hmm. Then Chavo and Edge on either side of her. Then the then Zach and Kurt on the outside. So it was like pow pow pow. And that was the show. I thought it was a good story. It was a good solid show. It was nice seeing some sexy ladies and not a lot of clothes. I like that. Well, that was nice. That was nice as well. Fat ass. Yeah. And so I think we have a lot to... Uh, I think it's going to be... And they had a, a real nice uh, Royal Rumble uh, preview type uh, dealie. So I think I think it leads well up into the... Uh... Okay. Uh, well, since we have a little bit of time left, a uh, quick note. Uh, people have been asking a lot of questions about the pay-per-view challenge. Yes. So we'll go ahead and run through this very quickly. When you pick a winner, you are picking the winner of the match, regardless of the circumstances of said win. So, if JBL faces Jericho, and JBL gets disqualified... If you picked Jericho to win, you get the point. If you picked JBL to win, you do not get the point because JBL got disqualified. So, if Orton gets disqualified... He loses the match, yet retains the yet belt. Yet retains the belt. Therefore, but he still loses the match. Orton loses, okay. So Orton loses, therefore you got screwed. But they didn't get screwed. They just, yeah, well, you just screwed, picked incorrectly. But you picked wrong. I mean, that's not, don't be too serious about this. It's a, it's a pay-per-view challenge. Professional wrestling. This is a big deal. It's fun, but it's not anything to get upset over. I'm sorry. Uh, no. You don't need to... This is a big deal. It's, it's not. I mean, it's fun. Let's have fun with it. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. That's our ECW review for uh, January 22nd. 2008. 2008. And uh, I guess that's it. We don't really have anything fancy to say. Peace, everybody.